So this is a tour of our five meter bell tent on its first outing. I just want to show you what we've equipped this with, uh, which we may add to or take away from as time progresses. First of all, we've got a frontier stove. These are brilliant. We hesitated getting one for our first outing, but it's great. And of course the scary bit is cutting the hole in there, but it was very easy to do apparently. So that's been in here, keeping us toasty warm through the night. Sleeping wise, we have a super king size bed and the way this works, we've made it up from two Coleman DuraRest air mattresses, which are single size. And the advantage of that is that when one of us rolls over in the night, then um, the other one doesn't get disturbed from that. And on the top of that, we've then got fleece topper, which kind of just offsets the plasticiness of the airbed, a sheet, and then a super king duvet and a quilt as well on there, which is lovely. And we don't really need all that bedding, to be honest, because the, the frontier stove is great. Over here, cot bed. This is for our um, eight month old baby. We've got a snooze shade um, blackout blind on here, which keeps the travel cot nice and dark, even when it gets light in the morning. So she sleeps through quite nicely and she can see still all breathable and everything, but just keeps it nice and dark. And over here, this is where our four, nearly five year old is sleeping. It's actually a pop-up VW camper van tent. And in it, we've got a junior inflatable mattress, which is slightly smaller than a single. This size pop-up tent actually perfectly fits a cot bed mattress. So if you have one of those and your child is small enough, that's a really good idea to put one in here. And he's got a duvet in there and a pillow and his cuddly toys and it's really cozy and what we can do is we have here the grow anywhere blackout blind which we put over the top of this and that then keeps that dark and stops him waking up too early in the morning as well and we've not bought any inbuilt matting none of the coir matting instead we have a cowhide rug which we had in our loft we thought yeah we'll bring that with us and it's been lovely actually to sit on it's been perfect and over here we've got a trunk which we're kind of keeping all our towels and bed linen and stuff in so there you go five meter bell tent being used very comfortably to accommodate a family of four and we're loving it on its first outing